As the frontman of the Stone Temple Pilots, Scott Weiland blended grunge with glam rock to create his own twist on the 1990s alternative sound. He took that unique style with him when he later formed the supergroup Velvet Revolver with former members of Guns N' Roses. And most recently, The Wildabouts. They played a small venue in Toronto just three days ago, Wyland's very last show. Very humble person. Um, he's very, very easy on our end to deal with. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, just all around, like, super, super friendly, super outgoing. He's super nice to all the staff. The common notes in Wyland's different musical incarnations, that growling baritone, theatrical on-stage persona. He would, uh, on stage, maybe have a feather boa or maybe just a rock t-shirt and just the way he moves and his voice kind of had a bit of, bit of that Bowie in it and a bit of like Morrison. And... But there was another constant in Wyland's life. His struggle with heroin and cocaine led to arrests stints in rehab and fights with band members that got him kicked out of the Stone Temple Pilots not once, but twice. Wyland wrote about it in one of that band's best-known songs, Vaseline. In his last interview with Toronto's rock radio station The Edge just three days ago, Wyland looked frail, but still had rock star attitude. My most recent concert was my own. Is rocking. Wyland was found dead on his tour bus last night. The cause of his death is being investigated. Deanna Sumanak Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.